Who is it? What? How do we start off the word idea? Hey, what up, Backyard Ninja Kid fam? Hey, what up, Backyard Ninja Kid fam? We are here. We're going to look at these Warrior Life Grips. We're going to tell you about them. We've had them for quite a while. So we got some good information on these things. So stick around. Let's jump right in. If you're new to our channel, we do review videos, we build obstacle courses, we interview ninjas, and we build obstacles. We have a lot of fun. So you may want to hit that subscribe button if any of those sound interesting to you. Warrior Life Grips. Disclaimer, they sent us these products for free. But I'm going to be completely honest with you, because if I'm not honest with you, then why would you subscribe to me? Stay tuned to the end to find out what we think of the price to quality ratio. Because that's a big factor. When we opened the package, it was super nice packaging. It was, it was all wrapped up. All of these were individually wrapped and then in another big bag. Um, and it all came out nice. It was all uh, well prepared. Everything looked nice. The logos looked fresh. Everything looked good. So the packaging was an A+. We got the Warrior Life Supremo Mega Ultimate Best Ever Package. We got the Pro Ninja Grip Kit. They sent that to us. That includes two nunchucks, two mini nunchucks, two cannonballs, two bungees, and like eight of these straps. You can also buy all these individually. I will leave some links down below for these products if you're interested. Also, on Amazon, I'm going to leave a link to our Backyard Ninja Kid shirts. This one's hashtag Ninja Kid. We got Ninja Mom, Ninja Dad. We got all kinds of fun obstacle shirts. Uh, we just created a bunch of new designs, 25 shirts. You may want to go check that link out as well. Cannonballs are a smaller size for adults, but I don't think too small. You can kind of see some of the tape or the paint flaking off. That doesn't bother me. That's just polished stainless steel, whatever it is. But wanted to point that out. That does scratch off. This seems thick enough. Seems beefy enough. But I think they could have gone a little bit thicker. So I'm not super concerned about that. Uh, just wanted to point that out. I'm not sure if you can hear that. Yeah, kind of hollow sounding. Um, especially these. Let's hear this. Oh yeah, that's... Clubbies. Grip's good. Uh, grip kind of has like a little bit of a sandy texture. Um, mm -hmm. Nothing crazy, uh, but really nice light texture. Yeah. So one thing I like about this though, it's a lot lighter than uh, okay. some of the other ones we've experienced. And why is that a good thing? If it hits you in the head, I'm not going to feel it. <laughs> if it hits you in the head, exactly right. <laughs> Have you ever been hit in the head with a, a climbing hold? A billion times. <laughs> a billion times. We've all been hitting the head with a hold as you swing on one, you swing backwards, and this other one's coming forward, and you just smack. This one won't hurt as much. That's a plus. Uh, like I said, we've had these for several weeks. At first, I was a little worried that these would not hold off. Uh, I thought I'd start to see a lot more wear and tear. I've dropped them on concrete. I've done all kinds of stuff to them. Um, they, they're actually built solid. I, I wasn't expecting it with being this light that they would uh, last like this. So kudos. That's great. Nunchucks. Fat. What do you think? Awesome. The fat nunchucks and thin nunchucks. What's your initial thoughts? Awesome. Yeah, this texture is almost like a little bit of a wood texture. It's grainy. Yeah, you can almost see. It almost looks like they used wood to texture this. Um, I don't. This isn't wood. Um, I'm pretty sure. Maybe they used a thick wood dowel to to mold it because it definitely has a wood grain texture. Even the ends, if you can see that, it actually looks like the end of a piece of wood. Um, but this has me stumped. I'm not exactly sure what this material is. But again, same thing, paint chipping off. Uh, I don't get bent out of shape about that. Again, super light, loud, good texture. I'm, I'm really happy with these. These seem to be good. I like the two different sizes. Um, like I said, enough grip, do enough texture to go through an obstacle without without getting crazy. Don't you say? Yeah. Straps. All of these come with their own strap. So I think this set comes with eight straps, which is awesome. You know, an adjustment of height a little bit, 
which is good. I like that. I have no complaints about these straps. I, I think it's a bonus that they actually come with straps. They're starting to show maybe a little bit of wear, but nothing to be concerned about. So after a couple months of use, fairly heavy use, they are going strong. That's good to see. Not much wear. Like it. Moving on to the bungees. Best. Best. They, they're, they're a lot of fun. Uh, when you first get them out of the package, I went like this, and I thought, oh man, there's not much give there at all. Um, and then you hang on it, and you put your full body weight on it. And for me, I like go way down. I bounce, I mean, I stretch the thing all the way out if you grab it low. It's, it's very challenging, because as bungee, the nature of a bungee, right, as they stretch longer, they get thinner. So when they get thinner, it's harder to grab. So as you grab it, it gets thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner. Um... But yeah, that's, it's a lot of fun. It's a fun obstacle. Uh, one thing with this, the one we got, I think it's a little bit earlier of a production run. They, this shrink wrap actually slides off. Um, I talked to the, the company. I talked to Warrior Life Grips. They actually said that the, they, they fixed this. So that's good to know that uh, in the future, these, this, is, this should be fixed. It shouldn't be an issue because uh, that's actually come down and exposed the metal. And you don't want that, you know, grabbing that. That'll cut your hand a little bit. So, wanted to point that out. Again, just trying to be honest here. You can see just a little bit of fuzzing out on the bungee. Um, that's to be expected. I think it's just gonna, that's just part of the wear and tear. The nature of a bungee. Um, I don't know if you can make that tougher, that stronger. Um, nothing to be concerned about, nothing to write home about. But I wanted to just tell you, just a little bit of wear showing on the grip bungees. Um, now, to be fair, Ben and Jay use these nearly every day. <laughs> nearly every day. Yeah. Ben especially, he's been getting used to the, as you grab it, you bounce, you kind of bounce down, bounce and down. then you play the bounce, yeah. and it pulls you back up, and then you're ready for that next one. Mm -hmm. um, so you've got pretty good at that. I'm also going to leave a, a link to Chris for... Or, 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 so I'll leave a link down below to Chris for... <laughs> Chris... I'll say it. Okay. We'll leave a link down below to Will. <laughs> Will. To Chris. Le this is the hardest name to say. We'll leave a link down below to Chris Wilczewski's video about these holds. Yeah, so Warrior Life Gear. These are out of Maine Warrior Gym. We're super excited to be using these. We've been happy with them so far. Uh, now to the, the most important question. The, the price to value ratio. Right now on Amazon... Right this second, today, in this minute, the Pro Ninja Grip Kit, you get all of these for $118.95 with prime shipping, two-day shipping. So what do you think? $120, rounding up to $120 for eight holds and eight straps. That'd be a pretty good deal. That's not bad. So you're averaging basically $15 per hold, plus... You get a strap with each hold. I mean, that's not bad. I feel like that's a pretty good deal. Maybe you should put that on your Christmas list. There's still time. We think it's the price to value ratio is there. I've been impressed so far. That's all I got to say. If you have any more questions, leave them down below. We will get those answered. But until then, make sure you smack that like button. Maybe pound that subscribe button. And until next time, see ya! Happy